We're always on the forefront of their minds, but we don't think of them until. Help us put first responders first and be better, educated, prepared to serve. It's more than just getting in a car and wearing a gun belt and a bulletproof vest and driving fast like we did 32, 33 years ago. It's more about a career now and the career is being educated. It gives you a greater mindset when you're working and learning with such a diverse population. Um, it, it provides a different perspective, a different outlook that you're never gonna find within the confines of these walls. If you watch some of these shows on TV and some of the calls that they come up with, it's like, you know, how did the guy get, how did the diver get in the palm tree kind of thing? But those are real life things that happen. And I think that with an emphasis today now more than ever for professionalism in policing, it's paramount. Um, higher education is tied to professionalism. We operate in the public's trust. That means they depend on us for public safety. Um, we have to make sure that we're focused on a good patient care, good patient outcomes, and in order to do that, we have to continually pursue uh, excellence in our lives. Critical thinking, you know, in a classroom setting is one thing. Critical thinking at three o'clock in the morning when you're still wiping the sleep out of your eyes and you're rolling up on, you know, fill in the blank, is something else. It's important that as we have an educated workforce, that those individuals who do these type of jobs generally don't have a lot of money. They come into these jobs for job security and they need a little extra help financially. Ultimately, what we want is good succession, right? We want a good operator, uh, a good firefighter to promote through the ranks, get their degree, and then hopefully run a district uh, and manage that district to keep that district safe. It's all about a life of service. It's, it's being willing to um, dedicate yourself uh, potentially for the next 30 years to helping others to bettering our community, to changing the lives of, of people. I do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend. I will serve unselfishly and continuously in order to help make a better world for all mankind. I promise concern for others, a willingness to help all those in need. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. We seek the wisdom to lead, the compassion to comfort, and the love to serve unselfishly whenever we are called. We always respond to your call. Now please respond to ours. Help our first responders be better educated, prepared to serve you. To serve you. To serve you. To serve you.